Hey everyone, Chica here again, and I'm back with another DC Universe online base tour. This time we're in Back Alley Bewitchery. It's in the Gothic layer, and it's one of the first bases I ever made on the game. Uh, it's gone through several renovations since then, of course, uh, but the idea is still the same. It is a magic shop, um here in the mortal realm uh so it's got kind of like the wiccan you know like vibes like you know in the craft when they go to like the 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 wiccan store the witchcraft store and it's you know herbs and and love potions and you know that sort of thing uh, tarot card reading uh, just basic stuff you'd find in our realm of the woods that we would see as like supernatural but um as you go on further into the shop, you realize that magic might actually be real, and it opens up into a bit more of a magical world. So, um, but yeah, this time around, I think I'm going to do a bit of commentary, try that out um, for a video. If you guys would rather have a silent tour, let me know below, or if you like the commentary, or you want more or less. I'm still trying to figure this thing out, so... Uh, yeah, just let me know in the comments below, and yeah, we'll get on with the, the base tour here. So, let's get started. And we start off in this court kind of situation with just several shops along with the magic shop over here. Um, it's kind of nestled between uh, a couple other commerce e areas. Got like a fashion clothing store here. Um, the bakery with the like sort of I guess it's more of like a bistro with this little sitting area outside. And there's also a side window you could peer into uh, into the magic shop. Uh oh. Got the sitting area out here with a little garden. And the front window and front entrance to the actual magic shop. So there's books there to entice you in. And here is the front room. Just, you know, basic stuff. The the back of the cabinet so you can change out the books. You know, different sale items. Got some magical accoutrement. I'm sure they're trying to push pretty hard because it's up by the front register. <laughs> Which behind has a bunch of uh, first editions and like specialty books and stuff like that. You always got to have the, the black cat in the magic store too, of course. <laughs> so here are just some uh, quote-unquote potions love stuff you know like i'm sure some kind of herbal remedies you know for luck and love and all that stuff don't know how uh, effective they are though right and just another display she seems to like it i guess <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you, you touring with me now? Okay. <laughs> Let's show them the Tana's area then. Alright. Um, so yeah, I wanted to do like a little book signing because uh, when they put in the Hex Appeal books, I got really excited. So I was like, oh my gosh, I can put a Zatanna book signing in my magic shot base, which I thought was very fitting. So got her chair and the promo poster and all the books here and the writing desk so she could sign it. Get your camera, get a you know, picture with her. Alright, uh, we'll go into the back of the shop now. Which has a crystal display, front and center, of course. I'm sure that's a big seller. <laughs> if it's anything like our world. And then we have a tarot card booth, which, uh, with the spirit table that they brought out and the little mark cards, it's pretty... And all came together pretty good. And then we go into the back sitting area. 
like a reading room. Got a little little shrine to Aphrodite there. And it seems like this is the end of the magical area to the naked eye. But to those who know where to look, it continues on. And this is where it starts to get a bit more supernatural. And we are transported into the occult night market. <laughs> I kind of uh, wanted to do something based off of like Hellboy 2's Troll Market, where it was just like a big like commerce area for warlocks and wizards and witches and all that good stuff. So magical items, magical stores. Uh, just a fun little magical bazaar. So we have the front pool here with the three sisters. A nice little sitting area. And then we have some magical herbs here for potions and hexes and whatnot. More books, of course, because I mean, I'm sure these books are a bit more magical than the last bunch. So we come around the corner to the magical weapon smithing area. And we can look inside and we see the crystals that are smelted down into these magical otherworldly weapons. And if that wasn't magical enough, they are cooled by the tears of the river sticks. <laughs> I guess the tears of Hades, which would be water from the river sticks, I suppose. That was the idea, anyway. Gotta have the Mother of Spells in here, Miss Hecate. As we go up to the upper area, complete with a central fire and sigil display to make it look super magically. Right here we have spell jewelers, so again more crystals, but this time I'm sure they have a bit more magic in them than the, the ones of the mortal realm. And it also has my, as you see behind there, my R and D station hidden. <laughs> uh, some magical monster taxidermy. So you know you go hunting for your griffins and your werewolves and your, your vampires and you come back and get them mounted. Seems pretty inhumane, but I thought it was a good idea maybe for a shop at least. And I really, really like the, the mounted heads from the, the different seasonals. Uh, the new Van Helsing stuff is amazing. I absolutely adore it. So I made a vampire hunter uh, shop up here to hide my teleporter. We got the the kit and the candles and the I absolutely adore these doors. These are fantastic. <laughs> really fans. Got the bat sign out front, of course. We'll hire to slay vampires. <laughs> Oh, and then you just got a nice little, like, uh, you know, take home your, your own personal city in a bottle. Uh, an artifact. An artifact store you could go into, potentially. And then we have the magical creature area of the bazaar, including smuggled harpy eggs. <laughs> Underneath the uh, the crates here, had to cage them up, or they would be absolutely everywhere <laughs> in this whole base. All right, so now we'll circle back around because I did block off the other staircase with good measure because the magical garden that is lush and alive as ever is also a bit unruly and overgrown. So until the uh, mage can so society can uh, 
can prune a little bit. Uh, the stairs are closed off for safety concerns. <laughs> uh, you can see like the the upper fence too up there. Here, just a nice uh, Egyptian sort of shop. Uh, I really like the king sarcophagi, so I had to had to squeeze them in somewhere. And the the altar from survival mode is really awesome as well. So, so now we're going to go into the underbelly of the the bazaar here, which ironically you go through an actual belly, <laughs> the belly of Trigon himself slain by the Justice League Dark Society. So we will go through his rib cage here into the the underworld of the night market. So we have a church here or um, potentially at first, this is going to be the entrance to my mage school from my other video. Um, but since the manor theme is so grandiose, I feel like even though this is fairly grandiose, it doesn't seem fitting. So I think it's now just a, a place of worship for some, some god, I'm sure. But the main thing here when you come down here is the entrance to the Oblivion Bar. <laughs> this also this is what the back also looks like as well not to not to take away from the you know the balcony and everything but this is just this is this is one of my favorite parts of the base i think <laughs> and so we will go inside now Pretty simple bar structure, just a couple tables with some booths. And you got your bar here, of course. Slightly more mystically than other bars, I'm sure. I don't think, you know, every pub has a, a skull that offers libations. <laughs> We go around here, and we have the restrooms, of course. And a dart area, but... As we soon realize, there is an underbelly to the underbelly. And though most magic here is benevolent, there's also things that are malevolent. And we go into... It. A secret hidden society that is a fan of the Emperor, Emerald in, Empress here. But most of all, we have the Cult of Blood still trying to raise Mr. Trigon back to his glory. And what better way to worship and try and resurrect Trigon than beneath his skull and his dead body <laughs> above. So, um, yeah, they have a little shrine down here, seating area. And of course, got to have the right music playing <laughs> for this. And the antler, I feel like the antler... Uh, candles and stuff to fit very well, given it's Trigon. So yeah, I think this is the conclusion of the base. The the cult of Trigon trying to resurrect the, the dead god that slumbers amidst the, the night market. Um, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, like and subscribe if you want more. I have a bunch of bases on the back burner that I've been meaning to put out there for a really long time. So I'm going to try and do one a week. Um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. So again, thanks for watching. Um, 
Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what kind of bases you want to see, too. And I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Thanks again. All right. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.